All right, guys, I'm back with Omar, Super Bowl champ. We about to go through a Super Bowl workout, you feel me? So we're gonna start off with three drills, guys, that you guys can use for your Super Bowl, whether that's high school, college, wherever you're at. These three drills will help you perform like a Super Bowl athlete. And everybody wants to be a Super Bowl champ. Yes, sir. To be a Super Bowl champ, everything's gotta be broken down to specifics. So when we train like this, we do straight forward days and we do change of direction days. Today's gonna be change of direction and you'll see the plyo, the drill and the skill that we're gonna teach, all are change of direction. So Omar's gonna take it from here. He's gonna show us the first drill. Now what we're gonna do first is do a lateral bounds. Now it doesn't matter what position you play on the football field, regardless of what you're doing, every player needs to be able to move in this direction effectively. These movements will help increase their performance. Two key tips for this movement, all right? We wanna load the hip and we wanna push off the outside foot. One thing we wanna be aware of and cognitive of when we land, we wanna land with a solid base. Being able to land in a square base and transition, uh, well, being able to land in a square base will help us to transition in any direction that we want to go in uh, smoothly. And at that level, it's all about being able to move as efficient as possible um, because every man is fast, every player is elite, and um, this will just help you give the advantage on the next man. So the drill will go just like this. We'll load the hip, we'll explode and push off the right foot, outside foot, landing with a solid base. In this position, I'm able to transition and move any direction I want from here. I could open up this way, I could change direction this way, I could go this way. Shit, I could explode up if I have to. And I it, notice when I landed, I'm landing right back in that solid base. All right? So three to four reps on each side will be rest for this exercise. And that's how you increase your performance and move like a Super Bowl champ. All right, guys, so the next one we're gonna do is called push the base. We just learned a plyo, now we have to learn a skill. So what Omar just talked about, landing and pushing off that outside foot, we're gonna put it together and we'll show you the drill. So I'm gonna get strapped up in this bungee. If you guys don't have a bungee, you guys can use a band or anything that's gonna give you some resistance. So I'm gonna get strapped in. I'm gonna get in that position that Omar finished in. So a nice athletic position. He's gonna give me some good resistance. And again, I'm gonna push off the outside of my foot, land in that position that he was talking about. I can go up. Side to side, push, recover, push, recover. And now I'm gonna go backwards. So now I'm getting some assistance. Push, 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 push. I like to do anywhere between four to six. And since we're with the Super Bowl champ, we're gonna spice things up a little bit. So that's the first progression. Start with two to three sets there. Make sure you hit both sides. <laughs> For the video, we're just gonna stick with this one. And now we're gonna spice it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go two pushes for each call. So Omar's gonna say go, and I'm gonna push it twice. So we'll get set up, and we're gonna do three reps here. Go, go, go. And now we'll take it back. Go, go, go. So there guys, you kind of see how all this can carry over. I'm gonna let Omar take the next drill. We're really gonna spice things up, and you'll see how that pushing, stabilizing, and landing all comes into play as a Super Bowl athlete. So now we're gonna put everything together. We've learned a plyo, we've learned a skill that we're gonna use on the field, now we're gonna put that to the test. I'm not as athletic as Omar, he's gonna be demoing this one, so he's gonna go ahead and get set up. I'm gonna take it from here, and uh, one thing you'll notice about the guys playing in the Super Bowl is uh, their ability to uh, get up, accelerate, change directions, and go. Uh, and all the good players do that, and then that's one thing we're gonna teach you guys to do, to do with this drill right here. So I'm gonna start in a push up position, this, I'm gonna work the exploding phase, the acceleration phase of this drill. So being able to explode from the chest, up to one foot, laterally explode, land on one foot, which is exactly the exact same drill we just worked on previously. Being able to change direction, push off that outside foot, out, and explode out. Being able to efficiently move in all planes of motion, the exact two things, two drills that Matt and I watched you guys through before, putting them together in fast motion. So. Coach Matt is actually gonna give us a more detailed explanation on how to get through this drill. All right guys, now we're gonna hit it full speed. So just like Omar said, this drill from the push-up is gonna test his ability to absorb and react. And just at the end here, you're gonna see him learn how to push off his outside foot. So on my go, oh, you're going 100%. Let's do it. All right, let's get let's set. Do it. Go. <laughs> you good, just keep rolling. I wasn't ready. You good, you good. I wasn't ready. All right, oh, on my go. Go. Over, back, out. Nice. Boom. 
is once you've got that drill mastered, we're going to make this one a little bit harder. We're going to add a reactive part to it. And as you know, you got to be able to react whether you're a wide receiver, cornerback, safety, it doesn't matter. The game of football requires you to react. So we're going to go through the same thing. And then as you can see around here, we got two different cones. So at the last second, I'm going to yell to Omar red or yellow, and he's going to have to break down in that position that we've been harping on the whole day. So this base position is what we're going to finish in. And like Omar's talked about, I can do anything out of this position. So we're going to go back to Omar. All eyes on me, coach. All eyes on me. <laughs> so I'm going to tell him go, and then at the last second, I'm going to say a color. Let's get set. Go. Over, back, yellow. All right, so now that we got those two drills down, we're now going to uh, progress even further. Um, and so obviously we already know what we're doing right here in the hurdles. Once we explode out of those hurdles, we're then going to explode to this final cone, which will be straight out in front, of here, in front of us here. And the same foot we planted with, which was our outside foot, which is our right foot on that hurdle, we're going to plant with on this cone. So I'm going to explode here. I'm going to transition. I'm going to drop my hips, just like we were in the push to base position. I'm going to get right here, get ready to transition and change directions from this point. Only caveat is Matt's going to make this a little bit harder by giving me a direction to react to the second I come out of this transition. So when I transition about out of this, out of this movement here, I'm going to explode. Matt's going to give me a direction or yellow. a color. Yellow. He's going to yell yellow. I'm going to react, change direction, look for the ball, score my Super Bowl winning touchdown. All right. So everything about football is reactive. We went over that. We're gonna take this drill up all the way now. So O's gonna react. The second I pull the ball, he's gonna react. Go, go, go. Yo. He gone. Those are three drills that we use and you can see that each one progresses and gets a little bit harder. Um, I think the main takeaway point today is how specific it is to be an elite athlete. We didn't do anything too crazy. We started with basic drills and we built off them. Everything was taught from the ground up, learning how to use your feet, keep your center of gravity, and learning how to explode and react. So I was gonna talk a little bit more about it, but guys, I appreciate y'all listening. Um, stay tuned, you're gonna get some more info. Take it away, O. Yeah, and just like we, we touched on earlier about any athlete being able to move efficiently in, in, in all planes of motion, um, that goes for any athlete um, in general, whether you're a basketball player, a boxer, a baseball player, um, any athlete that requires you to change, uh, change directions requires you to be solid in, um, in your movements and efficient in your movements. So being able to push the base, being able to transition and, and open any direction you can. Um, all these movements that we worked on today uh, can translate to any sport. Um, so it's important that if you want to be an athlete, take notes of these drills and apply them to your routine. All right, guys. So our cameraman was talking a little noise. Uh, this is a good coaching point. So we're going to throw him in the fire and show how important it is to start with the basics instead of just getting thrown in. Oh, you want this one? Yeah, Brian, let's, He's see, all let's, yours. let's see what you got, bro. Man, it's going to be easy, easy, man. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you, let's see what you learn. All right, so push up. I want to do that go thing too, man. Okay, you want to go off the ball. You want to go off the ball. I want to go off the ball. So we're going to explode. We're going to accelerate. All right. All right. Go. You didn't go off the ball. The ball's got to move. You didn't go off the ball. The ball. I like going off the go. No. No. All right, so is it the ball fold or not? Uh, I let go. All right, we'll, we'll do, do it your way. We'll, we'll do it your way. We'll do it your way. It's my way. All right, cool. All right. We're going off the ball. Go. Go. Oh, you picked me out. That was a go. That was a go? That was a go. I thought you had to lift up the ball. <laughs> it moved. I thought you didn't lift it up. <laughs> Yo, so for all, the, for all the viewers out there, when the ball moves, the play starts. I was right. waiting for the ball to lift up. Well, all right, man, I got right. you. Man, you're confusing me, Let's man. go, Brian. Let's go, bro. <laughs> go. Go. Okay. Let's, let, let's, let's, let's rewind a little right? bit. Let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's come back my, over here. Let's come back over here. Let's come back over here. All right. So, so one of the coaching tips yeah. um, in our movements was being able to stop and pause on that outside foot. Right? Yeah. Being able to push off that outside foot and explode back over the hurdle. Got so it. the last thing we wanted to do is touching both feet on the outside. Uh -huh. right? Oh, I touch both feet. Touch both feet. We want to keep that inside foot up. 
being able to explode and push off that right foot back the other you way. You know what, though? What they say? Slow feet don't eat, Slow feet right? don't eat. Slow feet don't, don't, don't eat. But you know what? I'll just cut that out, and they won't see that. But they're going to see it. They're going to see it. You're going to see it. And this is what we're talking yeah. about when we're saying we want athletes to move as efficient yeah, nah. as possible. That's right. That's not moving efficiently. All right? All right, so let's, 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 try to, let's start over again. Let's start all over right, again. Right, right, let's take out the, the explode part. Let's just literally go over all right. Good. Push off that outside foot. Good. Explode. Okay. We'll take it's that. It's easy, man. I'm not even we'll looking anymore. That. Look at this. We'll take that. Good job, Brian. Good job, bro. All right, man. Thank you. Good job. See? Appreciate it. See? If you follow these rules, follow these tips, pay, pay close attention, anyone can be an athlete overnight or, or at least look like one. Or win a Super Bowl, man. Or win a Super Bowl. <laughs> all right, by doing these simple drills. Stay tuned.